talking to Howard Safer right now, the uh, former NYPD commissioner. Commissioner, it's interesting when the judge decided that we're going to keep you in jail uh, on this terrorist attack, and again, citing him for a terrorist attack. Uh, that's that's a leap from what we've seen in the past when when we have these kind of incidents. Do you agree? This is a terrorist attack. I agree. I agree it is a domestic terrorist attack, and I think it's great because based on the bail reform law in New York, uh, if he had been taken to the district attorney's office in Manhattan, he'd probably be back out on the street. So I think prosecuting him federally is a terrific move. You know, uh, this idea that he called in and that helped identify where he was and all, what do you make of that? And what do you, it, you know, it, it could have been, and you and I chat about this, so much worse. But what do you make of the guy? Well, I don't know. The, you know, what his mental state is is something that has to be determined. Uh, maybe he's just out there looking to get his face on, on TV. Uh, this is a guy who, just, you know, he's certainly not a master criminal. He left his gun. He left his, his credit card. Uh, he left his car keys. So, you know, th this is either a disturbed individual or somebody who is just a horrible criminal. You know, um, Commissioner, not su surprisingly, uh, people in New York were very slow to come back to the city post the pandemic. Um, they're slow to come back, not because of COVID, but because of crime. It's become a very big issue. This just sort of reignited those concerns. Uh, we understand the only reason why, you know, a lot of train stations were exceptionally crowded yesterday is that all the Ubers and taxi cabs were taken. And I'm just wondering if things settle down, whether we're back to that same angst about people not not only wanting to take you know, public transportation, certainly subways in New York, but maybe not coming into New York at all. What do you tell them? I, I think you're right. Crime is up in just about every category in New York. Shootings are up. And what really disturbs me is the collateral damage that's happening for, from these criminals with guns, killing teenagers, innocent women, uh, people just walking on the street. We really have to do something about taking back this city. We did it in, in the late 90s and 2000s. We can do it again. But Mayor Adams has got to get a real strong backbone and not listen to the loudest voices. We need to go back to broken windows. We need to go back to stop question and frisk. And we need to send a message, which is not being sent now, to criminals that if you commit a crime, you're going to get arrested and you're going to stay in jail. Do you get a sense, uh, Commissioner, that... Uh we, it doesn't look like this assailant had any help, but you always worry about the ideas it gives others. Uh, at a time when there have been a, a lot of train and subway incidents, people pushed onto tracks, attacked in, in, in rail cars, et cetera. Any advice you would give those in a similar situation? Because you're very vulnerable when those subway doors close. Um, how you handle that? What do you do? Absolutely. You know, you have to be aware of what's around you. You have to look at who's around you. You have to look and see if people, for instance, this guy was dressed in uh, a construction uniform, but it, it didn't really make sense when you look at it. And, you know, and if something happens, you have to get, get down low. And as soon as you can get out of that train, get out of the train. But I think you're right. I think a lot of people are not going to go back to the subway for a while. All right. Um, it is scary times, but at least the relief this week is what could have been even more horrific was not uh, for a variety of reasons. The bravery of New Yorkers and the uncanny skills of the New York Police Department. So it's still there. Uh, thank you, Commissioner. Very good seeing you again. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.